This is Warren Siebert. He uh, runs Siebert's, uh, Warren Siebert's Gallery. Um, and he's produced a book on the... Uh, well, you tell me more about the book effect since you know more about it. Uh, as you can see, it's called Aspects of South African Art 2. And the first volume that it is obviously, uh, here in this case, Aspects of South African Art 1. It was done precisely 10 years ago with Johannes Bormann, who is a very prominent dealer in Cape Town. Also a Sada dealer. A uh, Sada dealer, yeah. And basically the idea of the catalogue, uh, at least when I, I worked with Johannes, was that I specialised largely in black African uh, artists, particularly Sokoto, Joe Sokoto, Lucas Sotole, right. Rorkstrift artists, and quite right across the board. And I'm also a specialist in South African contemporary art. And tell me, you've got a Kentridge here? Yeah. Tell this, us a bit about it. This was published by a guy well known in Johannesburg and Cape Town Art Circles, David Critt. Right. And this was actually the first collaboration he had with William Kentridge in 1993. At that time he wasn't based in South Africa and he was living in London. And he is very well known, he knows the print, uh, um, the, 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 the studios and the, the print masters, people who produce the prints very well, that's his business. There's a guy called Jack Sheriff in London, who's a very prominent uh, printer. And William was literally just passing through London. He was there for two days before going on his holidays to Italy in 1992. Right. And David said, I'd like you to put you two together. Let's see what we can do. And they did this single impression. What makes it important is the whole edition that comes out a year later, like the one sold at Bonhams two days ago, was, were made in 1993. But as you can see with this print, it was the only, it's like a test print, it was made in 1992. And then obviously the publisher, who's David Critt, has to decide, am I going to fork out the money, am I going to do this? Yeah. He did it in 93, and by 95 we were in a recession, as you know, with the um, you know, NC had just come into power, but there was a lot of instability and um, you know, a number of factors, so the art market was actually very depressed. And David Critt said to me, look, I've got five of these prints, I can't sell them, would you help me? And I've always been a big William Kentridge fan, I said, sure. And the base price for these prints, and honestly, I sold six of them. So one proof, I actually sold the one that, that originally that came up at Bonham's uh, uh, last night, or the two nights ago, and then five others. There were four and a half thousand rand, I had to get David Critt, and I put 500 rand on them with 5,000 rand. So basically, intrinsically, it is a very good investment. Because I actually sold this print, this was the last one I got from David Critt. So he gave me the numbered ones first, 10 to 15. And then that first proof that went last night, and this last one, he, sold, he gave them to me backwards. For one of the way put it. And so I sold it to a guy who I obviously bought it back from. Uh, in 1998, still it was 5,000.